The much-awaited G20 Leaders Summit will take place in Bharat Mandapam Pragati Maidan in New Delhi. This will be a culmination of India's presidency of the G20. 20 G20 member nations, 9 invitee countries, 14 international organizations. That's 43 delegations in total that will be attending the summit in New Delhi. A total of 10,000 foreign delegates will be in the city for this summit. This is the biggest international event with the largest number of foreign leaders and world leaders that will be hosted by India ever for that matter. Delhi and nearby areas will be on high alert from the 5th to the 11th of September. You can expect lakhs of security personnel to be deployed. Troops from the NSG, Delhi police commandos, paramilitary forces will be deployed at the G20 venues and hotels. So you'll have the ITBP, BSF, CRPF, CISF, the Sashastra Seema Pal and uh, officials from the Delhi police who will be deployed across the city and the airport. Special security corridors will be created for speedy movement of VVIPs and VIPs. Traffic police will restrict public movement on the 8th, 9th and 10th of September in central Delhi. You will not be able to go to areas like Khan Market or Connaught Place for that matter or even Pragati Maidan. Routes from the airport to five-star hotels to face restrictions during the movement of world leaders. VVIPs and VIPs as well. Central government is going to basically urge government employees, private sector employees to work from home. The government is also urging citizens to either stay home or go on vacation during the dates of the G20 summit because basically you'll not be able to move around or take your cars anywhere. Central Delhi will be largely out of bounds for the public on 8th, 9th and 10th of September. Metro lines will be functional during the G20 leaders summit, but the trains may not stop at stations like Pragati Maidan, Udyog Vihar, which are close to G20 hotels and the venue. Now, hotel rates in Delhi and CR are going to be at an all-time high during the summit. They will be at least uh, 30 to 60 percent higher between 5th to the 11th of September. 24 top hotels have been designated for world leaders and VVIPs as G20 hotels. Now, these 24 top hotels in Delhi and CR will be unavailable to the public from the 7th to the 11th of September. A presidential suite, which normally costs 7 to 10 lakhs, will cost upwards of 18 to 20 lakhs per day during the G20 leaders' meeting. Special renovations are on at seven premium hotels to accommodate uh, requests from uh, offices of heads of states. Banquet hall rates could be at an all-time high of 35 lakhs for three days. Hotels in Aero City, we're told, will be in big demand for air crew, support staff and journalists as well. Now, 43 delegations could require 10 top-line premium cars and SUVs each. Expect demand for at least 400 to 500 top luxury cars during the G20 Leader Summit. There will be a big demand for other SUVs for security and protocol purposes as well. 3,000 journalists, that's right, 3,000 journalists from India and abroad will be in Delhi to cover the G20 Summit and a special media centre will be made at the ITPO. So those are big preparations underway for the G20 Summit on the 9th and 10th of September.